So we are over at Bentley, speaking to them about the trouble with the Bentley we have. And uh, Rob said to me, uh, yeah, I'll be back in a minute. And 20 minutes later, no sign of him. But look where I found him. He seems to have found his way to the Lamborghini main dealer. And he's having a look. Yeah, I don't think you can afford that, Rob. Let's give him a tap on the window. Yeah, let's go and find it. So guys, if you're actually watching this part of the video, you will see there's absolutely no intro <laughs> to this video at all. <coughs> so you will see was actually at Bentley trying to get a couple of pointers. Do you know what? More on that in, in the upcoming Bentley video. So Chris was doing a bit of a Instagram. He said that would be quite funny. I said to him while he was chatting to somebody, they're getting in depth with a chat. I'll be back in a minute. And I just went for a little look in the window and the girl come out that was in that showroom and she's like, oh, come in and have a look. And I was like, I'm stepping a bit. What would you say? At, Punching above your weight. Yeah, just a bit. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Like, yeah. It's, it was a lot of money. So um, anyway, she went, no, no, please come in. Have a look at it. And I started looking around this car, having a chit chat. And then the girl was like, do you want a cup of coffee while you're here? And I said, no, I better not. My colleague's next door. So um, she then said that I could walk through and find you. But ultimately, I looked around and you was you was at the window. So anyway, guys, I got chatting to the lady. And I was telling her all about the one that I was trying to buy at auction. And I said, I just couldn't afford this. And she said, oh, you'll be surprised. So, guys, <laughs> I've actually made an appointment to go back on Saturday and see that car and their finance guy because she said you'd be very, very surprised how affordable it can be. So I guess it's going to be more on it Saturday when I go and have a look at it. But I'm quite excited, but still that element of I think is probably going to be too expensive. So if but, you're still watching this video... There was something we mentioned on the way back, wasn't there? Yeah. With regards to the previous car vertical Definitely. Check. A lot of you said about um, right-hand drive countries. How many right-hand drive? We didn't realise. No, did we? I, I said four. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even. I didn't include Ireland because I'm yeah, a. But there's dozens. Right? Yeah, there is. There's there no, was no point listing them all now. There, there's there's, there's a lot. definitely not. There was a lot. So, of course, um, guys, it's only if this video is going to go ahead, but. We're going to do a car vertical. She said, oh, this car's a one owner. Yeah, it's 10 years old, I think she said, yeah, didn't she? Yeah. And it's, um, it, you know, it is mega. It's done 8,000 miles. But you just don't know anyway. But it so could, could have been imported from any one of those right-hand drive countries, at, couldn't it? Absolutely, without a doubt. So we are going to check it, and then we're going to pick up Saturday when I go and have a look at it. Hopefully, I do need to ring them. I forgot to ask why I was there. Could I do a bit of filming? But I guess if this don't go ahead, we're not going to film it anyway, are we? So no. more on it, guys, on Saturday. Let's do a little check on it anyway. So here we go, guys. Lamborghini Gallardo. Mileage OK. Theft OK. Accidents OK. Of course, this one's never been a taxi. Was registered 1st of the 1st, 2012. So that's the build date. And then it was registered. There you go, Chris. That reassures us. Registered in the United Kingdom, 11th, 2012. So what was the manufactured? Yeah, perfect. First of the first, 2012. So it is a proper UK car, yeah. never been imported. It's, of course, this check was performed in all of these countries. United Kingdom, Hungary, Slovenia, Canada, Czech Republic, just to name a few. The mileage, the lady did say it had done just 8,000 miles, and that's, that's amazing for a 10-year-old car, isn't it? And she said it hasn't moved out the showroom since it was MOT'd, so that will be the current mileage on the vehicle. Scrolling a little bit further down. Of course, this, this has checked for damage, loss, finance, outstanding finance, and it all seems to be perfect, guys. The reason for doing the check, obviously, the last car was that we looked at was a Lamborghini and it was showing as zero previous owners, only 3,000 miles and no damage. Just for a refresher, we are going to show you that one again. So this is the previous check, guys. Lamborghini unknown, mileage okay, theft okay, accidents. I'm not going to go right through this one, but this car was actually listed in the UK as unrecorded. And a little bit further down, it says there, was manufactured in Italy on the 1st of the 1st, 2012. 
and then had its title changed in Florida, US on the 10th, 2012. So this car was actually bought in Florida from new. It stayed in there and then was imported to the UK in, we had the date there, Chris, didn't we? Uh, was inspected in the United Kingdom there. So 11th, 2020. And then when you scroll a little bit further down on this check, all the way to the bottom, that's only the UK mileage there. And then it comes accident history of it there and actually shows you the pictures of the car when it was listed in auction also there all the records of it being found going through auctions in kentucky in america so there's the photos of it guys on the 2nd 2017 and a couple of people did reach out and do a check on this one and they actually told us what caused the damage and the accident itself. And it had actually been involved in two. One was low speed side impact and the other one was high speed front impact into a traffic island. Something something along, along those lines. One one of you guys did a car fax for us and sent it out. So yeah, that just shows you that this check does need to be done. I want to thank Car Vertical once again for the continued support on the channel. Guys, to benefit from a 10% discount on your check, use the link in the description or SR10 from any browser to get 10% off. So guys, Saturday morning and I'm nervous. I am really nervous. I'm still like, can't believe I made the appointment and just... The lady didn't talk me into it. She was like, honestly, just come over. You've got nothing to lose. I, again, I'm not naive enough to know, not know that that is their job. But nothing ventured, nothing gained, is there? So, guys, I'm just about to head over there. I still haven't asked if I can do some videoing, but I really, really am hoping, I am, hoping that I can. But I think I need to go and get myself a nice cup of coffee and actually calm down a little bit because I'm excited nervous at the same time I don't, I don't really know and the worst bit is really i mean although i go out all the time i buy these cars and i go out and buy stuff and chris has never seen any of it nine times out of ten he ain't got a clue what i've bought until it turns up at the yard or i tell him the day before i never run it like if i'm sitting at home at night and something comes through instagram i'll ring up and i'm like yeah we'll have that and then in the morning i'll say yeah we've got another one on the way so it, it, not out of my comfort zone, but it, I think it's quite a big deal if I get this car, guys. And to not have Chris there with me, he normally comes up with really good scenarios and different options, you know. And, and I think, yeah, that does make sense. So I'm going to wing this one on my own. Let's get over there and see how we get on. Well, guys, that actually went really, really well. You can tell by the cheesy grin on my face. Before I even tell you anything about it, I am going to just put it out there now that I have put down a a small but large holding deposit for the car while the process is going on. So, due to the age of the vehicle, um, Lamborghini won't finance it. So, can't get nothing can be done anyway today. It's a Saturday. So, what they've done is put me in touch with Apollo Capital uh, Limited, which. The guy was amazing. I spoke to him on the phone. He asked for all my details. I took loads of stuff with me, driving license, um, bank cards, utility bill, and the guys there faxed it over to him or emailed it over, whatever they do. And he said, yeah, shouldn't be a problem. Um, I'll be in touch and let you know like what the figures would be and how much the monthly payments would be. But they actually said, you're in a, you're in a great position, Rob, because... Nobody, I mean, it's no secret I've got that Ferrari money still put by. Sorry, guys, I've just parked up down the road. Um, I've got that Ferrari money still put in the bank, and I haven't touched it, and I'm going to put all of that down on that car. And they said, normally people don't normally put down that sort of deposit, especially on a car of that value. So he said, you're in a really, really good position. So, guys, it's just a matter of waiting. I did ask why I was there. Is it all right if I do a little bit of recording? I'm anxious to get a, a clip of this car in this video. And she said, unfortunately, the lady there, you can't do any videoing unless... And if the car's yours, you, you, you know, knock yourself out, basically. You can record as much as you want and we'll accommodate that. But until it's gone through, that's not something that they can do with that car. So, 
fingers crossed guys let's wait to hear back and see how we get on so guys it's it's good news oh, i can't believe i'm saying this i am on my way we are on our way to lamborghini tunbridge wells to pick up my new lamborghini gallardo performante i can't believe it's got a ring to it hasn't it i can't believe i'm saying that but i did just something's just come to mind and um it really has made me laugh guys who goes and picks up a lamborghini from a lamborghini dealership in a skoda that's how we roll <laughs> that's how we roll that is how we roll guys honestly i'm so nervous so happy not emotional i think i'm i'm doing all right um we're guys we're heading there now we're on the m20 as soon as we get there, we're going to start recording. Everything's gone through. You should, Everything's you probably say it's about two weeks later. Isn't it? it is two weeks later, actually. Nearly, yeah, yeah, nearly yeah. two weeks later. So everything's signed, signed, sealed, and delivered. It's done. I am the owner of that car. So, they've serviced got, it, yeah, they've serviced it, validated it. I'm just going to keep on going on and on. I think there's so much has gone on over the last couple of weeks. It's uh, it's been a bit of a bit of a roller coaster, really. It's all gone perfectly smooth but me thinking about am i going to get this car am i not going to get it i think i drove everyone nuts i must have drove you nuts over the last two weeks but yeah let's let's leave it there and pick up as soon as we get there right, so that's got to be the longest 30 minute drive i've ever done but we are outside lamborghini i don't know if it's inside or yeah i don't know where it is i'm pretty excited though Right, we're going to leave it there for a minute. Let's get in and get it all sorted. So Rob's in there, signing his life away. Big grin on his face. <laughs> Happy day for you, Rob, isn't it? Very big day, mate, yeah. So that is it, guys. That is all the hard side of it and the paperwork is completely done. Now it's the good bit. I'm so excited, I'm excited. Thank you very much. Guys, this is Ella Wings and she has been on the case from the whole start of it all the way through the whole situation she's texted me at night when she's not been working keeping me up to date with how it's all moving we on got we, got we got there we got there guys and i did just ask eloise and she is quite happy for me to put her instagram in the description so <laughs> if you guys want to follow eloise from lamborghini it will be in there guys here's the car <laughs> well, I've known, I've known Rob for about 15 years, and for 14 and a half years, he's bored me about Lamborghinis. So, he's bored me for the last <laughs> <time>. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a big day for Rob, big day for the old boy. That's a nice bit of kit, Rob. Check that out, guys. So it is a late 2012 Lamborghini Gallardo Performante. It's, what is it, Eloise? It's a 574. So 570 horsepower, four wheel drive. I haven't got the talent for a two wheel drive, unfortunately. <laughs> so we've gone with the safest That's route. The but that, is the, that is the next one. This is everything and more than I ever expected. Like Chris said, this has been on the top of my list forever. And I know people are going to say, what's next? And genuinely, I can't think that far forward. I can't believe I'm the owner of this vehicle. So there's nothing more to do. We're all taxed. Okay. It's registered in my We're name. Insured. We're insured. It's all paid for. Chris, you're going to have to jump in, mate, and film me. We're going to take this for a drive. Do you want to show a little well, bit? We'd better, we'd better get some instructions of how everything works, Rob. We'd better have had it. <laughs> no, I've given them back to you. All of this, this is what the Performante's come with. Quite right. a lot of people fit these to a Gallardo because they just look right. incredible. Right. But all of the wheels, would I be right in saying the Performante Spider is basically the same car as a Super Leggera? They made the Spider only and the Super Legera was the Coupe. The Coupe. Do you want to start it up for us? Is that... 
I haven't got the keys. I think you've... Oh, I have got the keys. I've got the keys. He's all excited. He doesn't know. He doesn't know what he's doing. Do you want to do? Cut it for a minute, Rob? No, uh, and it's been pretty warm here about the battery, so it has been charged, but it doesn't even run, so give it a good run. It's been sat here for. Yeah, it's been sat for quite a while. Yeah. Good run. to um, yep. watch it back if we don't use it so I know where everything is. It's brand new, so isn't in it? here, yeah. yeah, it's literally, so in here you've got a uh, sort of towing that's, yeah. if you open that one up for me as well, Rob, you've got, you should actually have the original white gloves. Oh yeah. Oh, so. yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can tell it's just not been book. Yeah. Um, so that's your owner manual, which I'm going to leave in the front. And I've got the service book as well for you. Thank you very much. The only thing I need Here's you... Greg. The only other thing I need you to show me how to use is the lifting gear. Yes. So I've got uh, quite a steep driveway. Is it like that? Yeah. Yeah, it is pretty much. I don't want to push that. How beautiful is that? It's like a brand new car, right? It is a brand I new car. I can't believe it's so, 10 years old. Eloise, I appreciate you probably don't want to be right on the face of the camera, but if you can stand next to us and tell us. So this car come from originally a collector. And it's, it's been stored um, sort of majority of its life until your new ownership. So congratulations. Nothing more to do than get it out on the road and have give a play. it and have a play, definitely. Yeah. That'll do, mate. Yeah. It's going to have to be running so what you no you're putting the roof down yeah so i'm filming all right well all i can say is he's worked bloody hard for it i hope he enjoys it i think he's going to he looks a bit nervous. I think they're going to start it up. If I don't start it, I'll cut it. So I think the Eloise is just going to run through a few things with Rob. And, oh yeah, here we go. Roof. Boys work bloody hard for it. I hope he enjoys it and drives sensible, of course, within the national speed limit. So, when you see that, that makes it 
cars going up. See it going up, Chris? See it flashing? Yeah. So oh. when that's flashing, that means it's going Yeah, they're just operating the lift kit. The speed bumps, etc. I think I'll probably cut it there till we get outside. Well, I'm not, done it. I'm not really sure it's the weather for the roof to be down, Chris. Be rude not to, though, Rob. She, sa she said leave it down for a minute. Should we put the windows up, though? Yeah, and do. I'll just film go steady, though, won't you? Oh, of course I will, mate. I've never driven one, have I? So no. I've only ever been a passenger. Let's put that little back glass shuts as well. Shall we? Oh yeah, I think it's a wind. I don't know how much of this I'm going to film, really, Rob. Wind it's... deflector. If it's too noisy, we'll have to put the roof up. Yeah. Or we're going to go and get on the A21? Yeah, we're probably going to have to put the roof up. So maybe we cut and listen back and see. Shall we? Or oh, we cut here. Or right, we'll uh, cut back in, yeah? Guys, I don't want to put the roof up. <laughs> Music, isn't it? Coming off here. So keep going up here, and there's a roundabout. Who needs a radio? I'm made up. I'm made up. Yeah, I think you probably need to come off here. Again. We're going to go over that bridge and back on. It's so beautiful and smooth, and yeah. that sound. I don't think you could ever get bored of that sound, could you? No. Right here. Yeah, you're going. Cut it till we get back on there, Chris. I'm My head's getting cold, bro. It is nippy, <laughs> isn't it? We're going back to the dealership, guys. Drop Chris back off to his Skoda. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to head home, show the missus. But I'm made up. I'm, this is something I never I've thought here, was... Mate. I've been aiming for this, and it, it was a plan to get to here by the time I'm 40. Yeah, I'm nearly 42, but do you know what? I've done it, and I'm so, so happy. So happy. guys back at the yard now i'm still shaking a little bit and mega 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 excitement it's a major achievement for me and i'm honestly couldn't be happier i'm in a bit of a emotional roller coaster at the minute with it i'm just so made up now i didn't really want to show the number plate and that's why we never showed it in the dealership so chris just run in and got the siuk plates for us and you can see the back of it now so because it's a performante it's got all the carbon on it it's got the black tips the carbon spoiler with camera etc etc chris did say rob you'll probably want to show the engine yeah. and i'm going to be honest i you've got to put this car into service mode it's not like a coupe that, that don't flick up right. so what we do is if i put the roof back up chris yep. hopefully you can capture quite a bit of it yeah. while it's all closing yeah. up so we'll i'll go. give you that camera mate yeah, we'll go. You're going to start it up to do it? Uh, I probably will. I don't want to, but 
She did say give it a good run on that battery. Do you think that'd be enough? Yeah, I'll start it up. It sounds nice. Yeah, I just didn't. I want to overpower you talking and showing the engine. Well, let's give everybody a warning, hasn't it? That yeah. Probably not Yeah, I wouldn't do that. It's not going to work, is it? You can't really see a great deal to be honest, Rob. No. Watch your hands, Yeah. Mate. Well, that's it. Well, that's it. Yeah. Well, that's it. Yeah, I can't remember how much we showed over there of the uh -huh. interior. It is beautiful, isn't it? It is Those like the day panels. it was made, though, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, but you're going to get that with 8,000 miles. Yeah. Guys, there's a little bit I want to add in here, and it's not by any means any negativity. In fact, I'll, I'll tell you the first little bit of it, and I'll, I'll actually get Chris to finish it. So we actually saw quite a lot of comments in that Lamborghini video, didn't we? We did. And one that stuck out was, was actually quite rude, but we normally just overlook them. And it was a guy that said, you've got no intention of buying a Lamborghini. Yeah. Um, you're doing this purely for content. Yeah. And well, then, it was purely for a car vertical advert. And, and content, what he yeah. what said. So I've been serious about buying one of these since as long as I can remember. And quite frankly, I don't, I'm not going to lie, I could not afford it. No. And I'm very, very lucky, a huge, huge shout out to the finance company that managed to sort all this out for me and it which is Apollo Capital and I am going to link them down below for any of you if you and I mean this ain't sponsored if any of you want to check them out for your future car they went above and beyond so Chris what was you saying about it? basically yeah. we're not going to do something to mate please explain basically we are far too busy to start going down the road of pretending to buy stuff that we want to yeah. buy, buy something I don't I just wanted to reiterate to people that I started in this game 30 years ago you've been doing it over 20 22 years, years yeah. long before ever YouTube came along and we're, we're not going down the road of like we just feel we're what doing we what do. we're doing what we're yeah. doing yeah right? that's it. and, and yeah. what what comes in on a kind of daily or weekly basis and there you know and opportunities that present themselves and that You've been looking for a Lamborghini as long Too as I've long. known you, yeah. and uh, you've always been saying that's that's kind of the dream. Yeah. Um, for me, for, by the time I'm forty, and didn't quite achieve it, but nearly. I'm there now, mate. I'm that's there right. Now. And, nothing. Um, nothing's going to knock this smile no, off my face. No, nothing at it's, all. Uh, we are, but we are. You know, this is our full time. It's not a a pretend thing that we pretend we do cars. It's, it's what we do, what we've always done. You ain't so. got to justify it, but no, no, but 99 you know, point nine percent of people that, that are watching, was, they're behind it? us 100%. And, um, so. you know, we really wanted to answer that guy, didn't we? Watch this space. Yeah, but, yeah, you know, we nothing, couldn't. But we no. didn't know, you know, no. at the time. But, um, so, guys, yeah, that, that, it, really. that, it, that is Chris, sorry. Do you know what, as well? I'd like to apologise now, live on camera. <laughs> no, well, you no I genuinely would like to apologise live on camera. And I know a lot of you are going to pick me up on it. Guys, I am so excited and so made up. Like I said, I'm a bit of an emotional mess, to be honest. But I've got to apologise, Chris, for keep interrupting That's you fine, while we was filming. Yeah. Because ultimately, I've watched a couple of bits back and you're trying to tell me to take an exit. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah, who needs a radio? Like, it's just I, excitement, It mate. is excitement and I yeah. do apologise. Even right. though people do say I do it a lot. So, guys... Huge shout out to Eloise Saunders. I'm going to stick her Instagram down below. I think she does a bit of blogging, so she was quite happy for us. And I've got her on Instagram, and she always puts up what they've got at Lamborghini for sale. That is, apart from a huge thank you to Eloise from start to finish, huge shout out to the garage there. 
and a massive thank you to Apollo for sorting out the finance, getting the payments, very affordable, right where I want them. And guys, I just can't wait for that sun to come out. Mind you, it didn't stop me, did it? Driving all the no. way with the roof down. No. But I can't wait now to, in the summer, you know, me and Claire jump in this and have some fantastic days out. This car will not be sat in a garage as an ornament. No. It will be getting some miles put on it, definitely. So I want to thank each and every one of you for the love, support, and for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, guys, please do hit that thumbs up. Share it on your social networking sites. And, of course, drop it in the comments section, guys. What do you think of the car? I'm made up, and I know Chris is made up for me. We'll see you all very, very soon in the next one.